Hello everyone. As you remember in our previous lesson, we learned about farm implements. And today, we are going to be looking at typical farm implement examination questions. For our first question, we have is as you can see it says start the diagrams of the farm implements shown start the diagrams of the farm implements shown we have got farm implements then for our a the question reads State two ways in which implement S can benefit farmers. State two ways in which implement S can benefit farmers. That's our implement S there. How does it benefit farmers? This implement helps farmers to one, loosen the soil. Two, farmers are also able to turn over the soil in preparation of growing crops. Then we move on to item B. Name the two that can be used to do the same work as implement R. You are supposed to name the two which can do the same work as the implement R. This is our implement R, as you can see there. First, you need to know the name of the implement R for you to answer the question. So, R is a zigzag arrow. Ara is a zigzag harrow. So the two which does the same work as the zigzag harrow is the wreck. The two is the wreck. We move on to item C. Item C reads, name an implement that a farmer can use before using implement R. Name the implement the farmer can use before using implement R. Implement R, like we said, is a zigzag R. And this implement is used for secondary tillage. Meaning the tool should be for primary tillage. Hence, the answer is a plow. It could be a mount board plow or a disc plow. Then we move on to item D, which reads, which implement can be used to plant and ply fertilizers at the same time? Which implement can be used to plant and apply fertilizers at the same time? You are correct if you say it a planter. We move on to question two. On question two, as you can see, we have got three pictures there. For our A, the question reads, what is the general name for A and C? This is our A and this one is our C. What is the general name for A and C? You are correct if you say it, implement. These two are called 
implement. Then, for B, give two differences between B and C. Give two differences between B and C. As you can see, B there is a machine, whereas C is an implement. So the differences are that B uses fuel for it to move, whereas C has to be pulled. The other difference is B is a machine, whereas C is an implement. The third difference is that B has a lot of movable parts, whereas C has few movable parts. Then we move on to item C. It says, state two ways of taking care of B. State two ways of taking care of B. B being a machine, the two ways of taking care of B. That's a tractor. One, you should make sure you check the level of the engine oil before using it. You should also make sure that the tires have enough pressure. You should also make sure that the bolts are tight before you use it or every time. Then we move on to the next question. That is question number three. Item A says, give three problems caused by the use of the harrow on the environment. In this case, they've already named the implement for us. The implement is the harrow. So, what are the three problems caused by this implement on the environment? A harrow may destroy animal habitats underground when it is being used. Two, it can compact the soil as it is pulled by a tractor. Three, when used on dry soil, a harrow can cause air pollution. B, name one solution to any of the problems stated in 19A and explain how it will help to solve the problem. Let's look at the problem of compacting the soil. We can avoid compacting the soil if we use a harrow when the soil is not too wet. This will help the roots of the crops and the water to sink easily, unlike when the soil is too compact. We have another problem of soil erosion. Soil erosion will lead to the loss of top fertile soil. So to prevent this problem or the solution to the problem of soil erosion, we should use the harrow seldom. Our next question being question four. The diagram below shows a farming implement. Use it to answer question 23. It will be of much help if you are able to first identify 
the implement the implement is a plug the question reads state the use of the farm implement I hope you remember we met this question earlier the use of this farm implement is to turn over the soil and also it helps to it is used for loosening the soil the uses of this implement a is to turn over the soil as well as loosening the soil then for our part b give one example of an animal that can be used to pull the implement when an animal is pulling an implement, it is called draft's power. So the animals which can be used for draft's power are donkeys, horses, and oxen. Our last question. Is our last question reads for item A state two uses of this implement. Remember, I said it will be very important for you to first identify the implement. As you can see, the implement has got containers on it, meaning the implement is called a planter. The uses of this implement is for sowing the seeds and also for spreading fertilizers. Then the last one, item B, reads state two ways of taking care of the implement. Two ways of taking care of this implement is one, tightening the loose bolts, greasing and oiling the movable parts. Lastly, you can also point, you can also paint the metal parts to avoid rusting as rust it away metals. This is it for today. Well done if you manage to have. This is it for today. Well done if you manage to get most of the questions correct. And to those who didn't, better luck next time. I am Mrs. Adams. Thank you.